Hello YouTubers, hello, hello, how's everyone been? It is me, that's just how we're going to do it. I'm coming on here because I want to start a journey of a ketone diet and I plan to do this for 60 days just to lose weight, maintain my shape and build a little muscle. Um, I've been doing a lot of research, I've seen a lot of people who have been doing it I don't know if it's just smoke and mirrors when you're watching on Instagram and you see all the people that went from like 400 pounds and then they're just like 175 pounds with no surgery whatever I'm not saying I'm looking for those type of results but I'm looking to maybe lose at least 40 to 50 pounds from this diet I have my best friend who's doing this diet with me and I also have another friend but her situation is different because she wants to gain weight so Naturally, she's not going to do what we have to do because she's going to increase her carbohydrates while we're decreasing ours. Um, as well as starting the keto diet, I'm also going to do the intermittent fasting, which means that I will not eat for a certain amount of time do throughout the day, and then I will eat again. So what I am doing is the 12 and 8, which means that I'm going to stop eating for 12 hours, and then I'm going to eat for an 8-hour span. I'm not going to eat for 8 hours straight. But I have eight hours to eat, whether it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or lunch and dinner, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> so that's my plan. I started today. I also went out and got a couple of fitness things, such as resistant bands, a medicine ball, a yoga mat, and um, like a football thing. Like, I guess they jump in between or whatever. I seen it on YouTube, so I said, I'll get it. I don't really know what it's supposed to do, but I'll give it a swirl. All those things came up to maybe... 35 bucks and some odds and ends that my kids wanted. Um, the reason for me, excuse me, getting those was because I don't plan on going to the gym. And why I say I don't plan on going to the gym because I don't have the time. My work schedule is really crazy and I don't know if some of my subbies cannot afford to go to the gym. And again, I don't really like Planet Fitness. I know it's $10 a day, but that's not my thing. Um, so the gym will not be part of my regimen. Maybe 30 days down the line, maybe I will say, okay, I'll go to the gym. But for right now, I'm not going to do the gym. With the type of job that I do, I do a lot of walking, so therefore I will get in my cardio. So when I come home, that's when I'll lift some weights and I'll, you know, work on that part. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to say? The reason for the diet, yeah, that's probably a good thing to start with. Um, I just had a baby four and a half months ago, um, and having kids, as most of us mothers do know, is very traumatic on your body, very traumatic, and yeah, after the first kid, yeah, you can snap back, maybe the second, whatever the case may be. I'm not going to snap back like that. This is my fifth kid, so I need to work on myself at this point. Um, so I had a cesarean with my last son, and that sometimes, as I've been told, sort of kind of kills your muscle wall, worse than having the baby does. So I'm trying to get rid of my fupa, and some people on here may say my fupa is not that big, and I will get up after I finish having this conversation, just so you guys can see what target areas that I'm trying to work on. Um, I'm going to do this for 60 days, and I'm going to see where it goes from there. I don't have a scale. I don't intend on getting a scale, not until maybe two and a half weeks from now. So. I won't have a scale, so I won't track the progress of what's going on. I will not have on a waist trainer. I will not have on any of those things that have people thinking they're going to get this snatched body. So I won't have any of those things on. Only thing I will have is my regular clothes and water, black coffee, and that's it. Throughout this, I will also give you guys videos of what I'm making for my meal plans how I'm trying to incorporate it, and how I'm trying to incorporate my boys into this whole situation. So I will also be showing you how I'm going to try to get into ketosis, and let's see how that works. Um, right now, for the first day, I feel perfectly fine. I'm not cranky, I'm not irritable, I'm not tired, I'm not sluggish. Also, side note, I am anemic, so I am trying to switch my routine and incorporate vitamins C, biotin, iron, I have a multi-women's vitamin, and uh, even in primrose oil. I had that from when I was pregnant, from when I was trying to get my baby out. Didn't work, so I had a lot of pills left. 
So from what I read, it's supposed to be really good and it's supposed to help with a bunch of stuff. So you don't have to try all those pills, but that's what I have to do because I have a really bad iron deficiency and a couple of other things, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to stand up and we're going to see where I'm at. Don't judge me. Do not go in my comments calling me fat because I swear I will come for you. Don't do it. So without further ado, this is where we are. This is four months after having my kid. So, this is where we are. This is my stomach, which is kind of big. It is really, it's not big, big, but it's kind of big. I mean, I can work on it, but that's what that's one of my target areas that I'm trying to work on. Um, my arms are not too big, but that's what I'm trying to work on. Excuse my son, because he's really being a butthole right now. Um... I don't have too much back fat, but I do have some in this area. It's some there. It may not be a lot, but it's some there. So, and I'm really a big hippie person. I'm really, really, really hippie. So I'm stepping up on this ladder. I'm hoping I don't fall. If I fall, I swear I will edit this video and you guys will never see this. But I'm really hippie. So, I'm trying to work on that, and I'm 5'11", just in case anybody needs to figure out where they are and how we match up with each other. So, I'm 5'11", and right now, this is my highest weight of 265. So, it may not look like I'm huge, but I feel huge, and again, I'm tall, so the height difference sort of kind of plays a factor in how big I'm actually going to look. But, my target weight is... 190 to 185 to 190. That's my target weight where I'm supposed to be. As far as my BMI is 165. I've been 165 with my last two kids. Three, I'm sorry. That weight is not for me. I don't like how I look. I look a little too small for my liking. So I'm not going to go there. So throughout the 60 days, I will take you on this journey. And hopefully I'll try to implement my boys into doing this. I don't know if they're all going to try it. But for right now, none of them want to do it. So, stay tuned. Keep up. I'll show you when I'm at work. I'll show you when I'm in the house. I'll show you when I'm cooking. And then we'll do the weigh-in in two weeks. So, today is February the 1st. Today's the 1st, right? Today's the 1st or the 2nd? Today's the 3rd? Okay, so today is February 3rd, so we'll be back in 10 days, so that will be February the 13th, and we'll see where I'm at as far as weight. Um, well, I'm hoping we get good results. Disregard him. He's not going to be part of the diet. Say bye, guys. Have a good day. You suck.